Hi, thank you for keeping eyes wide open for the last speakers. <laughs> I'm Dotsie Bausch, Executive Director of the nonprofit Switch for Good. As a silver medal winning Olympian, I am deeply concerned about the USDA's profit driven recommendation that Americans consume dairy foods. And believe me, for 35 years of my life, I never thought I would be standing here today. I drank milk, I had ice cream from time to time, I ate yogurt. It all seemed harmless enough to me at the time. I mean, even the United States Olympic Committee told me that I should drink cow's milk to stay strong and healthy. But it just didn't make sense to me. So I began to dig deep and look at the research on a quest to become a better athlete. And I learned how noxious it is to drink the mother's milk from another species. And I also became saddened and a little enraged that the dairy industry continued to use me and my peers as pawns in their marketing schemes for profit. For athletes and non-athletes alike, the destructiveness of dairy is multi-layered. Cow's milk's proteins, particularly casein, which makes up 80% of cow's milk, have been shown to increase mucus production in the gut and in the respiratory tract. Impaired breathing, asthma, and chronic runny nose can all be exacerbated by drinking cow's milk. By regularly consuming dairy products as a means of a recovery fuel, an athlete's acute inflammation and oxidative stress can become chronic, leading to prolonged recovery, muscle fatigue, cell damage, and even elevate one's risks of chronic diseases. 65% of the global population is lactose intolerant, according to the National Institute of Health. This number is even higher among non-white populations, such as Asians, Blacks, and Hispanics, which you've all heard here today. Those who cannot effectively digest the lactose in cow's milk, they experience really painful symptoms like abdominal pain, bloating, gas, nausea, diarrhea, constipation. Why on earth does the USDA have a food category on the dietary guidelines for Americans that makes over half of us sick, uncomfortable, and unable to breathe? For the USDA to continue to put its stamp of approval on a product that is unnecessary and unhealthy and rooted in a highly oppressive system is unconscionable. We have an opportunity today to prove that the U.S. cares about its constituents. Its constituents, by the way, are your mothers and fathers and daughters and sons who have been afflicted by type 2 diabetes and hormonal-based cancers like prostate, ovarian cancer, and breast cancer, which dairy foods perpetuate. I stand up here today as one of your constituents. I represented the U.S. when I stood on the podium and accepted my Olympic medal. And now today I'm asking you to represent me using your podium. And please remove dairy as a food group from the dietary guidelines. Thank you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more highlights and information about the changing dietary guidelines in 2020, an exclusive analysis you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And make sure to hit that notification bell too so you don't miss the next video. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next.